everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Milana, and today I want to show you guys how to make this YouTube intro right here using Keynote and Keynote only. So if you want to know how, just go ahead and keep watching. So now you guys want to go into Keynote and double click on it. And then once that opens up, go ahead and go into the top left hand corner and click File, double click on New, and then you want to go to the right hand side where it says Wide and double click on White where it says My Presentation. Then go ahead and zoom out on those boxes so you can see everything and go ahead and delete those texts that already appear. Now you want to go back into Safari and find a background. You can type in aesthetic backgrounds if you aren't sure what to look up. There's a lot of cool options depending on what your style is, but I'm literally going with the same exact one that I've shown you guys. It's called a holographic grid. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this image and then I'm going to go back into Keynote and then I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it. As you can see, it's pasted vertically, so I'm gonna change it into a 90 degree angle so that it's horizontal. So now what I'm gonna do is just resize everything so that it can fit the entire page. Now go ahead and click on image and click edit mask. Now what you wanna do is just drag the extra pieces that you don't need. So basically you just wanna grab the black dots and just shrink it down so that it fits the border. So next, if you guys wanna use a selfie but it has a background, I'm gonna show you how to remove it in Keynote. So go ahead and drag your picture from the media and then you just wanna go ahead and click Insta Alpha and then you just go ahead and drag the entire background out. Now as you guys can see, his name is Hercules, so his collar blends in with the background, so it did take some time for me to remove the background, but normally, if it's just a blank background, it does not take long at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed this process up for you guys so you guys can see. So now that you guys know how to remove your own background, go ahead and go into Safari, and then go ahead and search up Square PNG. As you can see, I used this one in my original, but I am going to go with the one on the right because it's much more simpler. Go ahead and copy the image, go back into Keynote, and go ahead and paste that in. And now we're going to go ahead and remove the background the same process as we did with Hercules. So now that you guys know how to remove everything, go ahead and drag the square to whatever part of the picture that you want. And basically, I normally like to make the picture in the frame a little bit bigger because that's basically your centerpiece of everything. So the key, honestly, is to make sure everything aligns with the edges. Do you see how my shoulder and my hair kind of just, it looks really weird with the background just being there. So the key is to make sure that the picture and the frame actually go together. So now you want to go into Safari, search up Instagram free PNG black. If the frame is black, you also want the logos to match as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So go ahead, whenever you're ready, go ahead and click copy image, go back into Keynote, and then the same process as before, paste it and remove the background. So since I am removing the background, that means I'm going to have to put another white circle to put that as a background, if that makes sense. Because if I was just to put the logo like this, it doesn't really stand out as much. So after you have shaped it to your liking, go ahead and go into the shapes, click the circle, and you want to kind of just drag it over to fit the exact same size. So in order to make sure you do that, it'll pop up with four even lines like how it did. And then you want to go ahead and turn it into a white circle just so it stands out more. And for some reason, I haven't figured out the whole thing with the layers. So oftentimes you're just going to have to copy and paste whatever you need on top. So after you have adjusted everything and it looks perfect, or somewhat close to perfect, you basically wanna go ahead and do the same exact process to the Twitter logo as well. But just in case if I went too fast, I'm gonna show all the steps. So literally the same process guys, search up Twitter free PNG black because we want everything to match. And for some reason I couldn't find the exact same one that I used earlier, so it's gonna look a little bit uneven, but this one was the closest one that I could find. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, copy and paste it into there. I'm going to remove the background and then I'm going to do the same thing with a white circle. I'm going to make sure it aligns with the Instagram logo as well. And anytime you are trying to make something even, you see how when I line it up to the circle, it'll eventually have four even lines. 
You can also do the same thing for your image in the center as well. If you want to make sure it's super centered, those lines will pop up when you get it there. I also wanted to mention if you have three social medias or more, you can remove the two at the top and instead put them at the bottom. But for me personally, I only use my Instagram and my Twitter, so that's why I only did two. So I just kind of made everything even. But like I said, this is your intro, so you can make it however you guys want it to be. So now you want to go into shapes and go ahead and click the square right there. We're going to go ahead and drag it right underneath those icons right there so our usernames can go somewhere. So go ahead and stretch it out and you kind of want to make this a little bit thick just so your username can really be seen. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the fill to white because like I said, I try to make everything kind of match because it's more eye appealing. And then after, I just go ahead and copy and paste it to the other side as well. Because what's the point in doing it twice when you can just copy and paste? So after that, I'm just moving everything around just so everything can be as even as possible. Hang in there, guys. We are almost there to the fun part, okay? So after everything is done in size, go ahead and go into text. And then you want to go ahead and drag it right underneath whatever logo you want to start with. It doesn't really matter. So if you don't like any of the fonts in Keynote, you can always go to dafont.com. They have really good fonts on there for free downloads, so I would definitely recommend doing that. So this one is actually from there, I believe. It's called Market Deco from dafont.com. And what I'm doing is just resizing everything so it literally fits up the rectangle as best as it can. And then I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it to the other side. Almost there guys, almost there. So now after everything is aligned because for some reason I'm somewhat of a perfectionist so I try to make everything fit, you wanna go ahead and grab another rectangle and we're gonna stretch it way across the entire picture. And I'm gonna make this one a little bit more thicker as well because this is where I'm gonna put my channel name which is just my first name and last name. Also gonna change it to white so that everything of course matches. So next, go ahead and grab the text and drag it onto the bottom. And this is where your channel name or your first name and last name is going to go. Whatever you guys want to put down there. I'm going to go ahead and type in my channel name. And then I'm also going to change it into the font Carolina. This one is also from dafont.com as well. This one just really stands out to me because it's very fancy looking. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward me arranging it to the size of my liking because I know you guys don't want to see literally everything I did. Okay guys, it is finally time to animate. I'm going to start with my selfie, click animate, build in, and then add an effect. There's so many effects you can choose from, but I'm going with shimmer. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add that effect to the frame as well because they're supposed to go together. After you have chosen that, go ahead and click build order. So now we want to focus on the transitions. You want to go ahead and make sure the first one is on click or after transition, doesn't really matter, but the second one has to be with build one so that the picture and the frame animates together and not separately. So you can also change the duration of it to make sure that the shimmer lasts longer. So next we're going to go ahead and go to the Instagram logo and do the same exact process. And this time we're going to use drop. So you want to go ahead and make sure you do the same exact thing to the white circle behind it because it has to animate together in order for it to look more clean. But for the third image, you want to do it after build 2, which is the picture in the frame. And then the oval has to be with build 3 so that it goes together. So this is what a preview of both of that looks like. And then now we're just going to go ahead and exit out of that and do the same exact thing for the Twitter logo. You want to go ahead and drop it and you want to drop the white circle behind it. And I both have them at one second as well, but we want this to drop together. So this is going to be with build three, which is the Instagram. And then same thing with build three so that both logos drop together. And I accidentally forgot to remove the build order, but you guys will see in the end how the results will be. Next, we are going to work on our Instagram username. Go ahead and scroll down and go ahead and choose Anvil. I just really like this effect because it's cloudy and you can really see it. So go ahead and choose the same exact effect for the rectangle as well. And then go ahead and I'm just going to choose the same exact effect for the other side. You don't have to do the same effects for both sides, but I just think it looks more nice that way. So after you guys go ahead and change it to whatever preference you guys want, go ahead and click build order. And these are going to go right 
after our logos. So go ahead and click after build six and then everything behind it is gonna go with the build. So both rectangles are gonna go with build seven as well as the usernames because we want everything to go together on both sides. And then you can also preview literally start from finish and I remember to move this out of the way so you guys can actually see. We are almost done guys. Go ahead and click on the channel name that you have and I'm just gonna change it into sparkle because I have my picture above as shimmer. So it kinda goes together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the same exact effect for the rectangle behind it just so that it can go together. Go ahead and click build order again and then we're gonna make sure that this goes after our logos and usernames. So go ahead and click after and then the last one's gonna go with the build seven. So this is what a preview of everything looks like. We are almost done guys, okay? Just stick it out with me through the end. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I get that crumbly effect. Go ahead and go to build out, add an effect, and I'm gonna just show you guys this is what crumble looks like, but there's other ones you guys can choose from. This is diffuse. And then the last one I wanna show you guys is vanish. Those are my top three for the build out, but I'm just gonna stick to crumble. So I'm just gonna start with the same exact process. I'm gonna start with my selfie, the frame around it, the logos, usernames, the channel name, and then the rectangle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for everything. Just to let you guys know, you do not have to build the order since they are all gonna be going at the same time. So as you guys choose whatever effect it is, just make sure it's the same exact thing for everything. So now I'm gonna speed the video up for you guys. Next, go ahead and click build order and go to your selfie and select that. And that is gonna go after the build 12. And then everything below your selfie is gonna go with build 13. And that is super important that everything goes with the first build so everything can go at the same time with the crumble effect. You can also go ahead and click shift and select every single one. And that leads you to with the previous build so you don't have to do it one by one so it can be a little bit faster. And then now I'm just gonna show you a preview of what everything looks like so far. We are almost there, guys. I know I've been saying that a lot, but don't worry. The next couple steps are easy. Next, we're gonna work on our subscribe slide. So click add slide and go down to the bottom and click blank. Go back to the first slide and just copy and paste the original background that we had. And then go back into Safari. And now we're gonna look for a subscribe PNG logo. So go ahead and search that into the search bar, YouTube, PNG. You can even put transparent if you guys want to, but it's literally the same exact thing. And then there's so many options, but I choose one without a cursor because I want the cursor to animate. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this image just like everything else. And then you wanna go back into Keynote and go ahead and paste that in. And literally the same exact process, guys. Go into Action. And then you wanna go ahead and click Instant Alpha and just remove that and then just resize it so people can really see that subscribe button. So next, go ahead and search up Mouse Cursor PNG and then go ahead and select whatever one you guys want. I chose the one with the hand just because, I don't know, it just looked better to me. At first, I realized how glitchy the first one looked, so I went with the one underneath because the lines were much more clean. So go ahead and copy and paste that in resize it to your liking, and then go ahead, do the same exact thing, remove the background and whatever is inside the hand. I don't know what to really call that, so I'm just gonna call it the background. So go ahead and move that over to the play button and click animate, and this effect is gonna be flame. I feel like this one's really good for the subscribe because I really wanted to put some emphasis on it. And then for the cursor, you wanna go ahead and animate that, and I clicked fade in for the wrong one, and I had to go back and click none. So I clicked the wrong one. Now I click the cursor and you wanna click fade and move. And there's so many different options you guys can choose from, but I chose from bottom right to the left. You can always preview it as well if you're not sure what you guys want. But then I decided, hmm, that doesn't really look too good. So I'm just gonna do bottom to top. Once I previewed that, I already knew. This one looks way better. So you wanna go ahead and click build the order. And then you wanna make sure the first one is gonna be after the transition from the first slide 
and then the second one after the first build. Let's move on to the last and final steps. Okay, now you wanna go ahead and click add slide, click the blank one, and literally, this is the last step basically, guys, besides exporting it. But you wanna go ahead and change it to green. The reason why I do this is just in case anybody wants to do any green screen effects, so I just add it to the end just in case. And now, let's just review the final product of everything. Now, in order to export this, go ahead and click File, and go ahead and click Export To, and go ahead and double click Movie, since we have animations. Go ahead and change the seconds to zero and zero, leave it at 720p, and click Next. And then go ahead and title whatever you guys want. I'm just writing Intro Tutorial, since that is what today's video is. And then I'm going to save it into my desktop because that's where I prefer everything to go. It's going to take a little bit to export since there's a lot of things going on in there. But if you have stayed towards the end, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Please, please, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for me. Until next time, I'll see you all in my next video. Don't forget to leave any questions down below.